are some of your goals for this season with the Sixers? <coughs> um, my goals. I think my biggest thing is just tying my personal goals into the team, into with the team goals, um, and that that is getting better uh, in in just my shot, um, consistency, physical attributes getting bigger, stronger, um, and and knowing my role, um, and I think all that 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 personal those personal goals um, tie in with the team goals, um, going down from coaches' goals to everyone individual's goals and, and kind of putting them all together to, to reach that one goal that we, we all kind of have. Um, but, yeah. Jonah, Mike Bigari from the Atlantic City Press. Can you tell us what the past year has been like for you since you've been drafted and how are you maybe a different player today than you were when the Sixers first selected you? Uh, the past year's been good. Um, for most of it, I've been in Tel Aviv, Israel with Maccabi. Um, we won our domestic league championship there, which was really good. Um, changes in, in myself between draft to now, I think just a lot, a lot of things. Um, I think I've grown and matured a lot. Uh, I think we change as people every day. But uh, I think m myself, I've changed, just just grown up a lot as I have, um, on the court and off the court. Um, going through different coaches and seeing different people, you you kind of get a feel for everyone. And I, I would say I used to have a, like more of an ego. You said you asked me two years ago or three years ago. Um, but through situations, you kind of humble yourself and and you kind of come come to face with reality and and know that that. Humility gets you further, um, and so I, I think I've come to terms with that, um, and 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 that's been through ups ups and downs. Um, so I, I would say that that has definitely helped me um, coming into the NBA because I know that as a player you got to either kind of be a star or, or know your role um, to last in this league. Um, and for me, it's 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 knowing my role with high expectations for myself and for my teammates. Um, but on the court, I think I've gotten better in, in a lot of aspects. Um, ball handling, uh, strength, um, just confidence, knowing my teammates can trust in me and trust in my teammates. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Jonah, Michael Kasky, Blomain from uh, ESPN 97.3. Uh, you just mentioned knowing your role on the team. I was wondering, you know, what you kind of envision your role being for, uh, you know, the upcoming season with the Sixers. Uh, so what Coach Coach Brown kind of keeps portraying to me is that um, you know everything's there for me. You know, tall, six ten, versatile player that can guard one through five, or you know, play most multiple pl positions. Um, but just my shot consistency, he's he's kind of implemented. You know that it's there. We know you can shoot, um, but can you do that on a consistent basis? That's what a lot of players struggle with, um, and that's that's been a thing for me and and that's that comes with repetition and, and just time in the gym um the more times you see it go through the, the more confident you are and then confidence equals you know made shots um, i believe so i think that that's my role is what i've been kind of told told or or envision is just being that that stretch four that five if need be um coming on off the bench or whatnot um hitting the three consistently Bodying up with guys, using my length and 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 defensive abilities. Jonah Keith Pompey, the Philadelphia Inquirer. Can you just talk about? Um, I know this is your first going to be your first preseason game, but you're actually playing against a team that I guess you you know you grew up and you're very familiar with. You know, I know your father and Ben's father were, were kind of like, you know, rivals in that league. And can you just talk about things coming full circle, so to speak? Uh, yeah, full circle it is. Um, you know, my, my dad and Ben's dad played together for a little bit, but more so were rivals for the most part of their, their careers in Australia. Um, and then we were born, me and Ben were born over there. Uh, he, he, he and I both went through the high school years over there and then he ended up coming over here and 
doing high school here and getting drafted by Philly. Um, and then I kind of went to high school a little later than him. I think he came over maybe his sophomore year. Uh, I came over junior year, uh, in the junior year, and um, kind of took the two years of UCLA route, two years pro, and then now I'm here. So, yeah, it is kind of a full circle if you, t if you look at it in, in that aspect.